I am joined by Sven, or Lord Sven, as I should probably call you. I, obviously, as an Englishman, I have to respect the lordly ways that you have. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about this series, but before I do, I want to talk about how you guys are coming off Rift Rivals, because it was a, a disappointment, disappointing performance for G2 and for Europe in general, but you guys seem to have bounced back very well. I mean, yeah, Rift Rivals sucked, uh, I agree. We, got one, we lost five games out of six, and the, games, the, the one game we won was not even like that good. We kind of threw away a huge gold lead, one, cause one guy was trolling, and all our games we kind of just lost randomly out of nowhere. We didn't like just lose, we just threw the game somewhere randomly, we were ahead, we were behind, we got stomped. So River Rivals was like, not a wake up call, because that was um, the first match against Fnatic, Unicorns, and so on. Like, Rift Rivals was that second alarm you put after the first one to make sure you wake up. So now we are here, and I think we had a team talk about it, and everyone is more happy now, and we scrim better, we have better scrim ethic, or whatever you call it. Like we scrim better and more productive, I think. So, yeah, Rift Rivals changed something for sure. A bit of an attitude shift, perhaps, in the G2 house? It's not that we have bad behavior or like we are insulting each other or something like that. We're all good friends anyways, but we just like didn't have the best scrims of productivity or like we didn't learn as much as we could learn from our scrims. And I think now we are doing much better in scrims, not only like winning or losing wise, but we're also like making the scrims better for ourselves to learn more. And we talk more about drafts and we have better preparation for our, for our games. So I think we're on a good track. Okay, we don't often talk about sort of scrim ethic and the, the background behind it. I'm going to push you a little bit further. What is it specifically that's made your scrims better? What, what means that you can learn more from them? I mean, EU always, already had bad scrim uh, ethics or whatever you call it, where if you fall behind, you just FF. If you, at 20 minutes you're behind, just pause and go next game. Uh, we don't talk very well about the games in the post game review. Uh, things like this, where EU has already bad scrim behavior, and we just like, oh, we all died, let's pause and go next game. But now we're not pausing games until the next next just explodes, and we're trying our hardest to come back. And when we're behind, try to make it hard for any team to, to, to win, like make them sweat for it, make them make a mistake. And when we're ahead, we try to play it slow and calculated so we can't risk losing. Um, so yeah. You do seem to have a much slower style than other teams, especially on the new patch. Like H2K, when they beat you, overall there were 35 kills in the game, and then in both of your wins, there were 35 kills together. So what is it that makes you want to play slower on this patch? I think that game is like what we want to avoid. When you're behind, you want to play slow, and you want to make them take 10, 15 minutes to get Baron. But that game, we didn't do it so well. That's what we were practicing. But when we were ahead, we want to just play slower and not risk fighting over the loss. Also, your question was what, sorry? Oh, uh, yeah, why are you playing slower as, as a team? At okay, yeah. yeah, so it was right. You answered it. Yeah, yeah. we were playing slower because when we are playing like our old style, whatever you want to call it, we tend to throw away games where we will get caught or we will fight when we shouldn't fight. And there's one way to play when you're ahead that makes you not lose no matter what. If you play it perfect, you can't lose no matter what, um, unless you get outplayed somehow, but you, you take the fight yourself. So we try to play perfect kind of. Uh, our, risk-free style that when you're ahead, you win, when you're behind, you make it hard for the, the opponents. Well, some of your games did actually look pretty perfect, especially at game one. I'm going to ask you to rate yourself at the moment. Where do you think G2 stands as a team versus the other top teams in Europe? I mean, I think HGK is a very good team. Um, they play well today, I think. I think they're kind of on our level. Um, I think Fnatic is still a good team. I'm, I just see a bit more games from them. They have this new style. Uh, they play meta AD carries now, and they probably play a bit different champions everywhere else too. There's also a huge patch now with Broxa might be playing tank junglers now, so that might change their style a little bit. So we, I think Fnatic, HK, and us are still the top teams. And then Unicorns seem to be not doing too well recently. So I think we're in the top still. So you're the S tier in there, sort of the A tier. Also, Misfits is a good team too. OK, that's really interesting to hear. I think that's it from us for now. I'm going to hand it back over to the analyst desk, but thank you very much for joining me, Lord Sven. Shox, take it away. Thank you very much, Medic. A wonderful interview there and some great answers from Sven. A lot to jump on. Uh, I really like the insight into, oh, I feel like we're prepping better, we're trying to draft better, which does hint at a bit of complacency before. And I can imagine maybe if they came from MSI and they did so well and they know they dominated uh, EU before, what did, do you understand that maybe there was a bit of you know, not taking it too serious from G2? Well, I don't know, maybe they have some problems, but uh, we don't know exactly. Maybe it's kind of some kind of some struggling in scream. Also, we did uh, really struggling in screams. Maybe that's, that's why actually we win today, because we're actually fixing some problems in scream also. So, yeah.